Happy Sunday to you all. Today, our scripture lesson comes from the book of Matthew. And in it, we hear a parable, a story from Jesus about a farmer and some seeds. And it talks about how some seeds grow and produce a crop and how some seeds don't. And at the end, it says someone who hears the word and understands it, this is the one who will produce a crop. Hearing the word and understanding it. This week, I was blessed, we were blessed as a church to send seven of our high school youth along with Jeff and myself to Cedar Kirk Camp and Conference Center in Lithia, Florida. And we were able to do our annual mission trip where we work at Bethel, the Farm Workers Mission. And to me, it is an amazing, amazing experience. I feel blessed as an adult to get to go back to this place. This was my sixth year going. And when we talk about hearing the word and understanding it, I know a couple weeks ago, maybe, maybe it was a couple months ago even, uh, we talked about different types of learners, how we have auditory learners and visual learners and kinesthetic learners, people that have to like feel it um, to really experience it. And I think that mission trips are such an important part of our faith. When we talk about being the church, we hear the word in church, but when we go out from those doors, we actually get to be the church. And this week was amazing, amazing, amazing. When you step away from your everyday life and you are immersed in something like this, changes happen. Um, we did something every morning. I had a piece, a white piece of poster board on the floor and I just wrote, what are you thankful for today? And I've got a couple pictures here that I'm gonna show you. Um, see if you can notice anything about the progression um, between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. How amazing is that? Nothing happened. Um, not, a lot happened, as you can see. Um, how his every day went by. Not that we became more and more aware of things that we were grateful for until Thursday. Um, there was not enough room on the paper for all of our blessings. Someone once told me that faith is when all that knowledge in your head drops down to your heart. And I saw that happen this week. We were riding home um, on our trip home and one of our youth said to me, um, Ms. Burke, I've got a question. Like, I've been doing this trip now for three years and I work so hard. I work so hard during this week and it feels so good. And then I go home and I do nothing. How, how can I keep doing this? And that's the question that we love to hear that these youth have been inspired by their week and now they wanna bring what they've learned back to their homes, back to their communities, back to their lives. And so as part of the message today, um, I've got a little video for you um, that shows kind of a little bit about what our week was like. Um, so enjoy. All right, here we are at Bethel, our first day of working here, the girls have been assigned rice and beans. Um, how's it going, ladies? Pretty good. Pretty good, so Sweet. tell us about what you're doing here. So, we have this one open. We're gonna scoop some beans in some bags, and tie it up. Right. Okay, we already have a shopping cart full and a box. Nice, so we got beans going over here. Um, Haley's working on the rice. I'm just doing a scoop full of rice, and then right. here we've already, we've got three boxes down. Um, this is the kind of storage center where they keep all this. We got rice and beans. Um, the boys are outside. They actually just got a shipment of meat. Um, Jeff has got the meat here that's going to be going in the freezer. Um, oh, here comes a load right now. They weigh it and keep a record of it, and then they bring it into the freezer here. There's Dylan. Andrew's working hard with the door man. I think we got Matthew. Matthew's out there loading up. So uh, we are working hard. Um, we're having a good time. We're being safe. 
Tyler Grady from Trinity Presbyterian Church. I was I was involved with the mission trip where we went to Bethel and helped out with all the people who were most fortunate than us. I believe this is a very good experience for me, especially during this time. A lot more people need help. Um, I'm very glad that I came and I'm glad that I was able to help many people who need it, who need things more than I do. So I'm glad that I was able to take the time and help others my time and my resources to go help other people. Overall, I think this is a good experience and good for other people to do it. And I think that it was very good. At Beth L, we are doing an assembly line here, packaging up bags for next Tuesday. We got Matt over here breaking down boxes like a champ. We got Haley filling. We got Jeff doing the stocking. Stocking, that's the word I was looking for. Um, Hannah and Destiny are just moving really, really fast over right here. We need chips, Jeff. Chips, Jeff. Chips, chips. Jeff. Come chips on, Jeff. Hurt, pick it up, hurt. pick it up. Destiny, how you going? How you good? 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 Everybody's doing good? Yeah, they are. We are filling it. So we have to fill up all of these. Tom's already filled. So then we'll get some tables in here and fill them up. Um, and then the other room here, we have rice and beans. We got Tyler and Judy on the beans. Yes, we are getting really good at this. I think we have done over probably a thousand. We're starting on like our fifth pallet here, I would say. We got the boys over here working on the rice. How's it going? It's going good. It's going good, going good. Destiny and I saw God when we were giving people the bags. Their faces were really smiley and they seemed really happy. Hi, I'm Hannah, and I took a lot away from this experience. It's not my first time coming here, but I think it's like a really cool experience to help people out because you never know what they're going through. So just to see their smiles on their faces when you hand them the food and everything, it's just really cool. Hannah, what does it mean to you when I say that you are the hands and feet of God? When you say I'm the hands and feet of God, I could just think of like I could do his work for him because like I know he's here with us, but like he can't like do stuff for us. So like I can help out where he can, so like he could tell me what to do, and I could just help out for him. You want a revolution? Woo! Woo! Oh. Hi, Matthew. Now, Matthew, this is your fourth year coming here. The days are long and hard. I know today that you've been doing rice and beans packaging for three hours. Um, you've been tearing down boxes for another hour. Like you're not even stopping while I'm talking to you. Why Why do you keep coming on this trip? Because it brings a sense of joy to see everybody's happy face whenever you hand them the bags. Haley, this week we have been talking about being the we and how the we is greater than the me. What does this mean to you? To me, the we being greater than the me means to do things for others, for the greater community and the greater people, instead of just doing things for yourself, but thinking about overall the others around you. Going on the vision trip, I feel like I'm able to help more people. We're serving over 700 people a day at Bethel, distrib distributing food, and we're packing bags for them for the next week and we're doing things for the greater good, the more people. Instead of during this time during summer, we could just be sitting at home by ourselves doing stuff for me. But instead, we're doing stuff for the we and going out and helping. So Andrew, we were watching some videos last night of you on this trip four years ago. You've been coming to Bethel for four years. Each time is different. Um, what? What keeps you coming back every year? Just the, I have a lot of fun here every year. I learn a lot and it's just really fun seeing all the happy faces. Do you come home learning something different every time you're here? Yeah, I learn a lot more about the food that I get at the store and like how it happens and how it's some's good, some not. And what do you think is most important about you being here? Trying to get as much work done as possible since they're low on um, people to help them. So Dylan, I know when we got here, Beth L was so excited to have us here. 
Uh, we are actually one of the only groups that is coming to Bethel this summer. Uh, they kept talking about how brave you were, this group was. Were you scared in any way to come here? Uh, no, I actually wasn't scared at all. Why did you think it was important to come this summer? Um, I thought it was important because there are so many people in need that we could be helping. And especially now with this whole coronavirus thing happening, people are in need even more. So I thought, you know, it would be a really good thing to come and help with this going on because you know, there would be less people here and, you know, they really need the help. So I thought it'd be really it was really important to come and help here. So this is how we are. It is now day four, 2.18 in the afternoon. And we have actually watched Haley Tucker become the T word, tired, <laughs> tired. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you today for all the blessings in our lives. God, we thank you for every single opportunity that you put in front of us. God, we thank you for your calling, for what we are to do with our lives. God, help us to hear that call. God, we celebrate those moments when your words, what we read in the Bible, goes from our head and drops down to our hearts. God, fill us with your goodness and your love and your mercy every single day of our lives. In your name we pray, amen. Bye guys.